I'm getting home from work early today, and it's December 2nd. It's a little chilly. It snowed day before yesterday, and yesterday was pretty darn cold. Today it's real sunny and warm, and, uh, well, I mean warm, it's 40. <laughs> um, and so I thought I would uh, go paddling after work. Um, and that made me think about cold weather paddling and, uh, you know, some of the things that not everybody knows about <clears throat> paddling in the cold weather. So uh, one thing is uh, you have to treat it differently than you do um, you know, paddling in the summer, for sure. So a couple things. One is what you wear. Um, you have to dress for the water temperature, not the air temperature, the water temperature. So being December, uh, Little Miami River's probably, I'm guessing in the 50s, <laughs> maybe in the 40s, I don't know. I'll check it when I get there um, and let you know. But you gotta dress for the water because you never know when something happens unexpectedly and you're in the water. And, you know, people die uh, from cold weather area, cold water. People die from cold water exposure. And there's a common misconception that people die from hypothermia. It's really not the case. Uh, most people who die from cold water immersion, I said like a good Baptist. <laughs> most people who die from cold water immersion die from drowning. They drown. And usually they drown right away because they unexpectedly get in the cold water. The cold water is cold and you take a deep breath. And if there's water around your face, when you take a deep breath, you suck it in and you drown. So that would be the first way. Uh, the second way would be what we call swimming failure. So you fall in the water and your muscles get cold. And after a few minutes, you get so cold that you get really stiff and, and you can't really do much. And so you might drown because you can't really tread water or hold yourself up. Um, so that would be another way people die. I'd be drowning as well. As well. Uh, if you're lucky, you could die of hypothermia because it takes a long time for your core body temperature to drop really low enough uh, for you to die of hypothermia. So you have to dress appropriately. So um, I don't have a lot of gear. Uh, I just don't spend a lot of money on paddling stuff, but my, my, my wife might disagree. Um, but one thing that, that I have found that works really well, I have a, a wetsuit. It's a um, NRS Farmer John. So the sleeves are, it's sleeveless. It's like a, you know, tank top kind of thing. And um, that's made out of neoprene rubber. And it's really great because it does really reduce that shock when you first fall in the cold water. So it's really good with that. Um, and with the open arms, you can move quite a bit. The other thing is you want to make sure you're not wearing cotton. When it comes to getting wet and cold, Cotton is rotten. Uh, you want to use uh, silk or I have a, a, a long sleeve t-shirt made out of hydro silk. It's uh, a product that NRS makes, northwestriversupply.com, nrs.com. They're out of Moscow, Idaho. Um, I have that, which works great. So I'll put that on, I'll put my wetsuit on, and then I'll put like a, a paddle jacket. Well, today, that's eh, 39 to 40. I probably will put a wool sweater over top of that. Uh, wool is great because when wool gets wet, it still insulates. Um, and it also dries quickly. So wool is great. Silk is great. Cotton is rotten. So I'll wear my wetsuit. I'll wear my hydro silk um, long sleeve tee. I'll wear a wool sweater. And then I'll wear a paddle jacket over top of that. And then I'll wear my life jacket. Always wear your life jacket. And then I'll probably uh, wear a hat. Uh, I have like a, it's some kind of a synthetic material. I can't even remember where I got it from, but it's, it doesn't soak up a lot of water. Um, and I'll wear that on my hat head to keep my head warm. And then I'll, I'll wear my um, NRS 
Are you noticing a theme? I guess I like their stuff. Um, NRS, this is not like a promotion. It is not sponsored. Uh, NRS, feel free to reach out. But um, they have these uh, paddling shoes uh, that I wear. I've had them for years. I love them. Um, and they're made of neoprene too. So I'll put those on. And a lot of times I'll wear neoprene socks. Or not neoprene socks, I'm sorry. Those would be nice. Wool socks. Uh, I'll wear my uh, smart wool socks uh, because, again, when they get wet, they stay warm. And uh, that adds a little bit of insulation to the uh, paddling shoes. And then, um, yeah, I mean, then you're pretty well outfitted. Um, now, for pants, I uh, probably will wear... What's that company? Duluth Trading Company. They're like hiking pants, um, cargo pants. They dry really fast. Uh, they don't hold a lot of water, so I'll probably wear those. Um, and then, you know, then you're good to go. Um, so dress for the water. Secondly, I always do this, but especially in the cold weather. Um, I call my wife or I text her right as I'm getting on the water, and I tell her how long I think I'm going to be. I tell her where I am, where I'm going what I'm wearing, what boat I have, and let her know when I should be back. And if I'm not back by that time, she should call the authorities. And I always try to overestimate because I don't want to be late for that. Um, so if I think I'm going to be an hour, I might tell her an hour and 20 or an hour and a half, just in case I run into some trouble. But that way, if I don't get back to her, she knows uh, to call somebody to come help me. And she knows where I am and she knows what I'm wearing so they can find me. Um, and then as soon as I get off the water, I'll text her or call her and say, hey, I'm off the water. You know, I'll be home in a little bit. So I'd make sure you do that. Um, in the cold weather, I like to go to places I've been to before. I don't like to go to new places because I don't want to run into any unexpected things with cold water, cold air temperature. It's just not, not something I want to do. So, um, I'll go someplace familiar. Today, I'm going to go real close to my house, a uh, place I go all the time. And the nice thing about that spot in the cold water, the cold weather, cold water, um, is that it's not very deep. So even if I were to flip over, I could stand up um, and I could empty the water out of the boat, get back in the boat, paddle myself back. Um, and so I like that uh, on a day like today where it's cold. Um, and then uh, it's good to bring like a hot beverage. So I like to bring a thermos of a hot chocolate or coffee or tea. Um, helps keep you warm. Um, and I mean, obviously, well, maybe it's not obvious to you, but <laughs> it should be. Um, I don't plan on getting wet. Um, I really have no intention of getting wet today. Uh, but, you know, you never know. So you have to dress for it. That's enough talking about paddling in the cold weather. Let's go do it. No effort whatsoever. That's why I love the Black Beauty. She's so light, easy to put on the roof. If you close your eyes, what do you hear? Me crunching through the snow, right? That's not normally what you hear when you're going paddling. <laughs> Look at all the, uh, I don't know if you can see them, but all the Canada geese have been here. Lots of Canada geese feet and no human feet. <laughs> wow. Well, this has been <laughs> quite an ordeal. So, I just wanted to go out for a quick paddle after work. And, uh, you know, as happens sometimes, I'm sure this happens to you too, things just don't go like you wanted them to. So, <laughs> I got here and I got the canoe off the car 
was ready to get on the water and I was looking for my thermos of hot cocoa. <laughs> and I was like, oh wait, how oh, I left it at home. Wait, no, I put water on to boil and forgot it. <laughs> so I had to go back home. And uh, yep, the oven, uh, the stove was on. The whistling tea kettle, I was counting on it to whistle, but uh, the lid wasn't quite on. You ever do that? Yeah. So anyway, I turned it off, came back and uh, getting on the water, but it looks like uh, sunset is in about a half an hour. A little less than half an hour. So that's the way it goes sometimes, you know? So one thing I forgot to mention earlier was I always bring a dry bag full of uh, dry clothes and I'll show you that. So I always bring a dry bag full of dry clothes because if I do happen to fall in and get wet, everything I have on is going to be wet. So I want to have some dry clothes. And the ironic thing is I left the hot chocolate in the car. <laughs> oh, oh well. It's a beautiful day. It really is. Um, calm. Uh, the light is amazing. I don't know what the camera is going to show, but it's one of those late fall days where the, the sun is just golden, just gorgeous. And I'm paddling, so there's that, right? That's good. I'm actually quite comfortable, I'm not cold at all. I've got the, uh, the wetsuit as sort of my long johns, and then uh, the silk shirt, and the wool sweater, and this paddling top. So, actually pretty comfortable. I did bring a hat and some gloves, but I really don't feel like I need it. At least not yet. So, just gonna soak up the beautiful little Miami. Do you hear that? It's a kingfisher. Not sure the camera's picking it up, but I can hear a kingfisher. Belted kingfisher. Fishing. Hopefully we'll get to see him. I feel like the temperatures dropped a little bit. I mean, it was 38 before, let's see. Uh, 37, not bad, 37. water up in here. Um, I don't know if that's from the snow or the rain or probably a combination of both. But it's actually kind of nice to have a little more water to paddle with. <laughs> do you guys go paddling in the winter or do you uh, 
hang it up. Um, I don't go as much as I used to when I was younger. I don't know why that is. Maybe I'm a little more risk averse. <laughs> um, maybe I just don't like being cold. Um, but I used to go basically unless it was ice. Um, this is the first cold weather paddling that I've done in probably a year or two. Um, it's really, it's fun because you, I mean, you got the place to yourself. It's real quiet. Um, crisp air. It's a little more dangerous, you know, if you were to fall in. But that's why I dress for success. <laughs> if you're prepared for the water, you probably won't ever go in. <laughs> if you're not prepared, you sure as heck will. So, I don't know. It's just uh, superstitious, but uh, it's always good to be prepared for the worst and uh, expect the best. I don't have a dry suit. Um, dry suits are really nice. But, I mean, they're almost a thousand bucks. It depends. I mean, you can get them probably cheaper, like 700, but it's a lot of money. Um, I don't know. The wetsuit wasn't nearly that much. Of course, they may have gone up since I bought it. I don't know. I used to have a pair of uh, neoprene gloves, which I really liked a lot. I can't find them. I don't know where they are. Pogies work real nice, especially if you're using a kayak uh, paddle. This, this right here is what I love about cold weather paddling. Total quietness, beautiful surroundings, crisp air. I love paddling in the winter. It's so quiet and peaceful and uh, you know you have it all to yourself. The sound of the birds. I don't know if you can hear that but I love that sound. Oh, man what a gorgeous day out here. Beautiful day. Love paddling and this is great like it's bonus like um, you know you get home from work a little bit early and go out. Uh, here in Ohio sunset about 5:10. And uh, it's about 4.45 now, maybe a little after that. So I don't have a whole lot of time, but I mean, hey, this is just uh, a lot of fun. Why don't you comment in the comments below and let me know, do you go paddling in the winter? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you like? What do you hate? I love the peace and quiet. I like the crisp air, honestly. I would really like some hot chocolate, <laughs> but I left it in the car. Great thing is, uh, Dinner is in the crock pot. So as soon as I get home, we're eating, which is, you know, good. If you like this video, 
click the like button down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, watch my videos. I think you'll like them. So those are <laughs> blogging in the car with the tripod. <laughs> That's my cold water paddling tips. Those left turns are a killer. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> I don't make the blooper real. <laughs> you know be really nice right now is some hot chocolate. <laughs> Christmas time is near. I don't remember the rest of the song. La la la. la. Was that the Kingfisher? Oh, my feet are starting to get cold. It's the most wonderful time. Portaging through the snow with a solo canoe on my head. <laughs> right where I left you, hot chocolate. Whew. Get in my belly.